Welcome to the next Sunday School lesson. And today's lesson is in lesson 4. And the topic is complementing each other in marriage. And the text is in Genesis chapter 2, verse 18 to 25, and Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9 to 12. And the aim is to encourage couples to complement each other in their home. Introduction John was sitting on the edge of the bed, running his fingers through his hair. He could only stare holes into the bedroom rock, rather than look Abigail, his wife, in the eye after what he had done. Her tears were held back by anger and utter shock because her husband ego threw him into the twisted of way of terrible decision making. Her promotion at work that would have benefited the family resulted into conflict. John convinced himself that her promotion would let her become the breadwinner of the house, making him the mere pauper who squatted in his own house, his own home. Therefore, instead of make basking in her joy of celebration, he made one phone call that made everything come crashing down. It was the work of the devil. It was. At least, that's what he kept saying. God made man to be married to a woman, and woman to a man to complement each other and not for competition. In this study, we shall discuss how husband and wives should complement each other in their marriages. Discussion question 1. What role do you see God playing in these passages? Isaiah 49 verse 15 and Luke 11 verse 13. God is saying that he will not forget us, neither will he leave us. And God is saying that anyone that asks him, he can give him even more better. Discussion question 2. How can a couple complement each other emotionally and physically? According to Genesis chapter 2, verse 18 to 25, and 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 31 to 7. The couple should see themselves as one flesh by submitting to each other. So question, discussion question 3. How can couple complement each other sexually? In 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 4 to 5. They, they should see themselves as one body and not as one having authority over the other by devoting themselves to prayer. This question, question 4. How do you practice speaking words of faith and encourage other over encouragement over your mates to help build them up? You have to ask yourself faithfully where you are falling short and make necessary amendments if you are practicing then continue the good work. What role have you played in, to increase the welfare of your marriage union lately? And in discussion question 5. Look deeply and see your roles. Are they, are they enough? If not, what are you doing to improve as you come to understand? In conclusion, in a marriage relationship, there is neither destruction of the order nor absorption. To cause to disappear as if by swallowing up into the other. Rather, the two, man and woman, complement each other to become the very good that God intended and which pleased Him. God's plan from the beginning is for the man and the woman to complement each other in marriage. A memory verse. A memory verse is in Ecclesiastes 4, verse 9, and you read, Two are better than one because they have a good reward. For their efforts and Holman says Bible. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.